This is 108 Riverside Apartments, identified as the last location where Dr. Chizave CJ was seen before being picked up by security operatives on Saturday. Sources indicate that Besije was here to visit a Ugandan residing in the building. Upon his arrival in Kenya, Besije was booked into the Waridi Paradise Hotel. Shortly after settling in, he left in a taxi headed to Riverside Apartments. While the apartment management declined requests to access CCTV footage from that day, eyewitness accounts from the area suggest that security operatives confronted Besije at Block C, room 1102. Witnesses reported that he was escorted out of the premises without any resistance. <laughs> Martha Karua, the Kenyan opposition politician who invited Besije to Kenya, confirmed that Besije was scheduled to be a keynote speaker at her book launch on Sunday. She alleges that both her government and President William Ruto were fully aware of the incident. After discussions and inquiries, we suspected that he was abducted while at the Riverside apartment by security agents from his home country, aided, facilitated by Kenyan authorities. Remember, there is no way you can take an abductee either by air or by road without going through immigration. That's why I say confidently, aided and abetted by the Kenyan authorities. The incident adds to a growing list of human rights concerns in Kenya, including last month's repatriation of a Briton and Turkish asylum seekers under questionable circumstances. It looks like we have two dictators side by side, William Ruto and one Yoweri Museveni. I would, I mean, I'm fearing. Everybody now fears going across the border I wouldn't want to go to Uganda now, lest Ruto follows me there to uh, abduct me. In a separate, high-profile case, Pakistani journalist Ashad Sharif was shot dead at a Kajiado roadblock in October 2022, an incident that the Kenyan court later ruled as a deliberate murder. Walter Mwesi J, NTV.